What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. It's down there. It's down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. Geeky Amanda. G E E K L I Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's time to get this movie review started. Alright y'all, after much persuasion, I got many messages from different people want me to do the Cats review. I went and saw it. Reluctantly, I went and saw I it. I even got to see this movie free because I worked at the theater there and we get to see free movies. And even after watching this, I wanted my money back. So let me make it easy for y'all. I'm going to give you a little synopsis of this movie. So you don't have to go see it and you can know all about it, right? So first, the movie starts out with all the cats there, and, and we see the different cats. We see the, the cats all getting together, and them singing their songs, and, and talking about the jellicles, which, number one, I don't even know what a jellicle is. And I, after seeing this movie, I still don't know what no jellicle is. I first thought they was talking about the, the cats' jellicles, and I'm like, I don't want to see their jellicles. That's something you should keep private. Cover up your jellicles. Well, it looks like they're just wearing a costume with some fur and, and the leotards and, and put on a little couple whiskers. But then their, eye, their ears start to move and then their tail moves at certain points. And I was like, this don't look right. These don't look like, these cats don't look right at all to me. Apparently Idris Elba is like the bad guy up in this. He's got those green eyes are glowing in the coat and, and the hat and everything. And he's talking about wanting everybody's jellicles. And I was like, oh, I, I know he's bad. And he's magical too. He's always coming up doing his little magic in the places and it's first that the cats are in the cemetery for some reason purring around doing their little songs and things. Man, these are talented cats because they got some dance moves that I was a little jealous of. And they're doing their little turns and spins and all that and then here comes out Iris the, the evil cat trying to trying to rain on their dancing parade. So they're in the cemetery looking for the jellicles not there. Then they go to the houses and they see the Rebel Wilson cat. Apparently a house cat. Because she's always, you know, she's a little plumper cat. And they're always laying around. And, and she'll sing about it. She will tell you how she gets to lay around all day. Having her little mice. Which number two. Let's talk about these mice. Because we're going to think they got the cats looking up in the human body. Then they show the little mice. And then the mice got the human bodies. So these are human little mice dancing around in their little mice boxes. And if that wasn't enough, then they're going to come with the Beatles and they got the dancing Beatles everywhere. I thought I was on some kind of drugs. I thought they spiked my popcorn. And the cats are hungry and they got all those little plump little mice, but then they're going to be snacking on Beatles. I'm like, uh-uh, this is lies because if mice were hungry, they would not turn down some mice to eat Beatles. I'm just saying. That, did, that don't make no sense to me. They couldn't find the Jellicles and, and Rebels place, right? And she even let you know. She had her legs open, spread wide. I was looking. I was looking for the Jellicles. She still didn't have no Jellicles. So they had to move. Then who comes but the Jennifer Hudson cat? She's the sad cat. She's, she's over there looking all mangy. She hasn't been brushed, Jennifer Hudson cat. She's over there crying. She, I, I don't know if she was crying because the, she knows this movie so bad or, or she got the mange. So there's Jennifer Hudson crying about no jellicles. And then, and they all pointing and laughing. Like they kind of, I feel like they mean to the poor little mangy Jennifer Hudson cat. And then she goes running off. Then they went up in the milk bar. Oh, they got a milk bar in cats. I've never seen a milk bar in my life. But in the cats movie, they got a milk bar. Drinking their milk, splashing it, making a mess. That's what I saw. That's what I saw. So after the milk bar, then you see they still looking for the Jellicles, still having no Jellicles to be found. Oh, oh, Jellicles, Jellicles, that's all you got. That's the only thing you're going to know about this movie is Jellicles. You ain't going to remember nothing else. So they're looking there on the streets, and here comes what I think is a lion, the old lady cat. But she's looking more like a lion with a big lion coat and her, and her big fur mane main thing. I was like, this ain't, what kind of cat? I've never seen a cat like this in my life. So this is the Judy Dench old lady cat lioness. That's what I'm going to say. They call her Deuteronomy, which I was like, because they had even a song about it. I was like, she don't look like no Deuters or Ronomies. She looks like the lioness. So she's there with the other gang looking for the Jellicles. Then here comes Iris with his, with his green eyes doing his magic and stealing them, bringing them back on some boat chained up. I was like, well, what's this about? I don't want y'all to be the Jellicles. 
I was like, I wouldn't want to be no Jawa either. Didn't you get to this one guy who he he's the he's a penguin. He looks like a furry James penguin. James Corbin. James Por Corbin comes. They, he you see his character looking like a furry penguin, and this is what gets me. This is the killer. He's always falling over, falling in things. He done fell on something and hurt his jellicles. and then. I noticed he's got heels on. I was like, no wonder can't, you can't put heels up on a cat. I think he's going to help you find a jellicle. But they went to him. He did find some food, which I was like, well, at least they eat better than just that those nasty beetles. Then he gets stolen. Then he gets tied up with the Rebel Wilson. So all these people they're going to meet, I feel like they're just going to meet these people. And they're just putting them in bad situations. Because right after they meet him, talking about you, the jellicle, then here comes... Uh, Idris Elba steals them with his magic. They running ideas. I think they're going to pray or something. They in this building with these big spotlights up at them, and they looking at the spotlight like it's like it's like the the, the angel. Then they start doing this gyrating stuff, and I was like, Oh Lord! Oh, here come the angels putting some jellicles in them or something. Here comes Jennifer Hudson, the manger cat, looking. She wants to join in. What's everybody else do? They start hissing her away. This is why she always crying. They mean it, poor Jennifer Hudson, the main So after they doing all this stuff in the spotlight and all that, then come this old cat, Gus. And this is the guy, I recognize him. I'm like, this is the guy from the, I just seen him in The Good Liar, Ian McKellen or something like that. He, they got this poor man up in there as the Parkinson cat. He got, he's old and got the Parkinson's. He's the shaky cat. I'm like, what, why is, why do you even want to do this to Ian? So Ian gets this little spot in there with his little shaking and stuff. Then they come bring in somebody right after him with the, with these red pants on, suspenders, got the tap shoes. I guess his little tap steps got magic too because they first in that spotlight room tapping, tapping. And then all of a sudden he taps his way onto a railroad track. So of course he got all these tapping magical powers. What's going to happen? You, you're going to show this little tapping magic? He can he can magic tap his way on the railroad track. He can he can pull out some jellicles from his tap top hat or something. So of course I just elbow gone and steal him too. I forgot even Taylor Swift in this movie. Taylor Swift cat coming down with the catnips, spreading it around and drugging up these cats. They they up there she's sprinkling this cat these catnip drugs in there. They're snorting it and all this kind of stuff. I was like, they got Taylor Swift up here being a drug dealer. I find out Taylor's with Idris. They working together to, I don't know why, you, you don't even know why. I don't even know why she was, she's the drug dealer for Idris to get him some jellicle. I didn't know. I knew that song, Memories. Ba -ba 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 -da. That's from this movie I didn't even know. So Jennifer Hudson then belts out this memory song. That's where this come from, this song. I done heard this song. I didn't even know it was from this. Lo and behold, Jennifer Hudson does her little memory song. Jennifer Hudson, the mangy cat, you the jellicle. What? All this trouble, I just stealing people and this and that. Then you got crying mangy Je Jennifer Hudson and she was the, 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 the jellicle the whole time. Here comes down, I see the chandelier. I was like, what they gonna do with this? She gets a chandelier as a prize as a jellicle. So she gets on the chandelier. I was like, all right, what's going on? Then you see the chandelier is a hot air balloon. Yes, this is this is really happening, y'all. The hot air balloon, Jen the chandelier, Jennifer Hudson in the chandelier takes off. And you don't even know where it goes. So when you're a jellicle, you can put in a chandelier hot air balloon and take off to nowhere. You don't even know where you're going. I d why would you want to be a jellicle then? In and and they were by this lion statue, which I was like, I knew that old lady was a lion. She's a lion. I knew it. That's why they got this lion statue. They all dancing around at the end. And, and it's over. But after watching it, and I was paying attention because I was like, I'm going to do my review on this. I was taking my little notes. I was like, I'm going to pay attention and I'm going to crack this cat's movie code. I still don't understand what this movie's about. Nothing in this movie made sense. The plot, nothing. Nothing. I would not wish to watching this movie on my worst enemy. Y'all stay away. Stay away from this movie. They done spent all their money getting all these stars. They, I mean, they got how, how much they paid Tw Taylor Swift to be up in this? The spreading, being a little drug dealer up in there. How much they paid poor Jennifer Hudson to look mangy and cry the whole time? They spent all their money to get all these people up on it. They run out of money. They done run out of money. And they're like, we got to just put something together now. That's what happened in this movie. I never gave something a zero out of ten. But I'm going to do it right now. 
they ain't nothing worth. You just watch this video and get the synopsis of it right here, right now. Because th this ain't even worth one, one tenth of a go watch. If you've seen it, <laughs> let me know your thoughts down below. <laughs> Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time, y'all.